All right, peoples, I got a great video for you in regards to young fig trees. And I have two different types of trees here. I have uh, trees that you can see are just now waking up from dormancy. I just brought them out from underneath the sunroom because we're gonna do some pruning on them. We're gonna do some inspecting on them. And also I'm just gonna leave them outside now that it is basically the spring. So we're, they're just now waking up. As you can see, they're leafing out from their growth tips and they're ready to start the season. The other section here are trees that I rooted this winter time from cutting and we brought them out from inside out here and we did it very quickly and therefore they have sunburn. And I've talked a lot about sunburn in the past. This is a real rookie mistake. But it happens to a lot of people. It happens to, uh, to me, obviously. Um, definitely has happened to me a number of different years. And if you're not careful when you bring them from a very low light environment outside to higher light conditions, if you do that too quickly, you give them too much light too soon, they're gonna get sunburned. And sunburn's very obvious. I'll show it to you what it looks like. It looks like sunburn. <laughs> um, you can see on the leaves, we've got some darker colors, even have some lighter spots here. You can see this silverish color, this brown, and then also some of the darker leaves really just look burnt. Here's another example. And eventually the leaves will just fall off. That's how you'll know it's sunburn. If you had them in a low light condition and you move them to a higher light condition and they get this problem, that's sunburn. So over time, the tree is going to reject most of these leaves. We're gonna lose a lot of that photosynthesis. The trees are now a bit set back because the ideal scenario of what is supposed to happen, so we have these trees, these cuttings we rooted, which are now trees. We're supposed to take this <clears throat> Excuse the micro, uh, the uh, the motorcycle there, guys. The microwave, I almost said. But uh, we're supposed to take this tree here, and we're supposed to up pot it now, about a month from now, after frost. We do have a potential for frost, so if I need to protect these guys, I can very easily. But once the chance of frost passed, we get warmer soil temperatures. I'll up pot this into a five-gallon size pot which is where the tree will remain for this entire season, this entire 2021 season. You could see an example right here of a tree that was exactly that scenario last year. So I took it, put it into this pot, it rooted itself out really nicely. In fact, it's probably fully rooted in this five gallon size pot now. We pruned it. And now the only thing left to do for this particular tree is to actually stake it. We need to make sure that our canopy is open. We're getting good light penetration. And this tree will put out a lot of fruit this year that actually could be at a higher quality than the fruit that these little trees will produce. So unfortunately, the trees, when they're so young like this, just even if they do end up fruiting, will not produce high quality fruit. It's really a shame. I know a lot of you guys wanna see those fruits. You wanna taste the fruits in the first year, but it's a really bad representation most of the time, unless your tree really, really just takes off and you have a very long season that's very dry, it's quite unlikely that you're gonna see the appropriate fruit quality that you're used to or that you should be seeing from that particular variety's genetics. So that'd be nice we get some fruit off of these trees because that's kind of the plan, right? We put them into these larger pots. We get them to grow to the appropriate size that we're looking for. We get them established and maybe fingers crossed, we get to taste some fruits. But now that we've, you know, had some sunburn here on these trees and they've lost their leaves, it's looking a lot less likely that they'll look like this an entire year later. Yeah, there's still a chance it's not totally lost for them, but they're certainly not going to be probably as strong or as well rooted as that five gallon size tree because we did this. We set the trees back 
yes, it is possible that the trees could, from this point, even though they've lost most of their leaves or all of their leaves, they could grow very vigorously from this point. It's still very early in the season. It's not a total loss, but it's not something we want to happen, right? We want to keep all those leaves. So that is, it is what it is here. And that's the little mistake I want to share with you guys regarding these smaller trees.